He was born a snake handler, and he'll die a snake handler. You're listening to Game Points with Matthew Ross on TSN 690. Five on TSN 690. That's a little hula hoop uh, co-written by our guest coming up in about 25 minutes. Carl Wolf, artist, will join us. Looking forward to that. Just a quick word for Chi Burger Mobile. If you're looking to hold a party somewhere, anywhere in the province of Quebec, and you want to bring top-notch, old-school style burgers, fries, even a poutine bar, an ice cream bar, it doesn't really matter. They can make it happen for you. Chi Burger Mobile. Just such a tremendous concept and uh, they're in the uh, Bellevue Park in Pancor all summer or spring and summer long so go ahead and check them out right now if you want to uh, get more information on how you can get these succulent even up to one pound burgers or find out how you can get a poutine bar with five cheeses free toppings in there as well 15 free toppings to be precise give them a call Give them a call at 514-512-1328, 514-512-1328, or Montreal at gmail.com, C-H-E-E Burger Montreal at gmail.com. It's such a cool concept to be able to uh, have that truck parked outside your house and uh, have the food just flowing. They also deliver as well in the St. Anne de Bellevue, Pancor, uh, St. Lazar area so keep that in mind as well Montreal at gmail.com and check out the pictures facebook.com slash Pancor on Facebook alright very excited to talk a little NFL here with our next guest who's uh, gracious to take some time out of oh you know trying to make the NFL uh, our next guest comes uh, by way of Denver where he is uh, a defensive lineman. You can follow him on twitter.com slash Kyle underscore Peco, P E K O 6 5. The former Oregon State standout is with us, Kyle Peco. Hey, Kyle, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Very well. Thanks so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Congratulations on uh, signing uh, with the Denver Broncos. How's it going so far? It's going good, man. Uh, just excited, you know, to get the opportunity to to be with the organization and, you know, live out a, a lifelong dream. When you, in your final year at Oregon State, obviously this was the goal to uh, to get into the NFL. Uh, did you have a, a lot of teams that uh, that were uh, after you? And and in, and if so, uh, what was it like to be, uh, you know, chosen or, or sign with uh, the world champions? Um, definitely, uh, talked to a lot of teams, um, as the process went on after the season. And, uh, you know, I didn't hear much from the Broncos during the process. Uh, it was, it was a pretty, pretty big surprise when they called me the day, uh, the last day of the draft and, uh, you know, kind of just said that they want me, how, how would I like to play for the world champions? And, you know, kind of just worked out for me and, uh, I'm, I'm like I said. I'm just excited to be with, be with this organization. What was it like uh, walking into the facilities for the first time? And uh, do you have a a recollection or a moment where you thought, "Wow, this is this is pretty cool." I met so and so. Um, walking into the facilities were awesome. They, you know, they they are the world champs, and you know they have top notch stuff. So, um, I think definitely going into the locker room, kind of seeing. Uh, a locker with my name on it uh, definitely was uh, a time that kind of like, you know, woke me up and, you know, made me realize that this is, uh, is definitely uh, happening. Um, but I met uh, the first guy that was uh, Shiloh, Shiloh Kale, um, one of the newer guys, but he played with uh, my cousin, uh, Doma Tapeco, that plays with Bengals and, uh, you know, just kind of shared some stuff, uh, shared some wisdom. Uh, for, for all the rookies, so I think that was a, a big big moment for me. Did you have a chance to uh, to speak to uh, John Elway? Uh, I, I have not. He was out of practice here and there, but I've not uh, had a, the chance to talk to him yet. What's it like uh, playing in a or, or trying out for a system by such a renowned defensive guy in, in Wade Phillips? 
Uh, you know, it's it's a it's an honor to to be able to play under him or you know get the opportunity to play under him. Um, but he's a great coach. He's in he's in and out of the D line meetings like constantly. Um, uh, it's just it's just an honor. Chatting with Kyle Pecco of the Denver Broncos, who will wear number ninety this year. It looks like uh, why ninety? Actually, you know, I think they just automatically assigned the numbers, and uh, I got lucky to get get a ninety number. As a rookie, that's a pretty good number, nice and round. Uh, I, I think of uh, Neil Smith back in the late '90s, who uh, who wore it when the Broncos won a couple of couple of Super Bowls. Now, you mentioned your cousin. We were going to get to that as well. How how has he influenced uh, you getting to the NFL, if at all? Uh, certainly, we're talking about uh, Demato uh, Demato Pecco of the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, he's been a uh, help through the whole football pro- process in general. You know, going to college. Uh, just kind of letting me know that I got to find the right place, the right home, because you know ultimately I'm going to be the one you know doing it and going to be be there putting in the time. And then uh, as uh, time went on and you know I get the opportunity to to come to the NFL, he's kind of just you know steered me in the right direction, you know head on straight, and there's going to be a lot of naysayers, and uh, I think he he's just been been a positive. Uh, and a big time motivation for me, uh, seeing how long he has has been in the NFL, with the uh, you know eleven seasons, um, he's been doing really good. So you know it's it's just good to have a, a positive role model like him. Are you looking forward to learning from anyone in specific uh, that plays in Denver right now? Uh, oh man, there's a, there's a lot of guys. Uh, I think really right now, you know. Uh, you know, Von Miller is a linebacker defensive end, but that guy has a crazy motor and, uh, you know, just, just a phenomenal athlete. And it would it'd be great to learn some stuff uh, from, from Von Miller for sure. Chatting with Kyle Pecco, the Denver Broncos, as, of course, uh, Denver gets ready to uh, defend their championship uh, this fall. Uh, do you have any goals set for yourself? Are you looking to make the roster? Are you looking to start? Are you looking uh, – what, what, what are you trying to do? Uh, definitely, you know, looking to make the roster and, and play. Uh, I think that's everybody's goal. But um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just, you know, excited to get the opportunity to, you know, work and grind with these guys at the, you know, the world, the defending world champ. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely getting playing time this year. What uh, what was it like playing at OSU uh, with the Beavers? Uh, where you what, what, did it prepare you adequately for uh, for where you are? I definitely think it uh, prepared me adequately. Um, we we had a coaching change um, between my my first year and to my last year here at Oregon State, and uh, both both coaching staffs, you know, nothing but the best. And uh, I'm lucky to be able to you know go through two different coaching staffs. Um, but uh, I think uh, they this past season just prepared me a lot for for this opportunity. You know, I think. Uh, Conditioning skills, you know, positional wise, like I, I had, I had some top notch uh, coaching. Just wrapping up with Kyle Pecco, the Denver Broncos. Uh, what was your, uh, if anything, uh, did you have a, do you have a purchase that uh, that you went out and uh, did uh, as soon as soon as you were uh, picked up by Denver, or are you kind of saving that until uh, you're officially on the roster, or what? Yeah, definitely, definitely gonna save it, um, saving for a while. You know, I gotta. A wife and a son that I, you know, got to look out for now. So we're definitely saving um, nothing, nothing in mind that we thought that we needed to buy right away. So uh, definitely, definitely going to save our money. All right, and are they at least getting you some uh, discounts or some merchandise to put on that son of yours? Uh, not, I mean, not yet. But I'm, <laughs> I'm sure if I asked, I, I, they would give me some. But not, nothing yet. All right, fair enough. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. Kyle uh, Pecco of the Denver Broncos, best of luck, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in that orange uh, come September. Thank you very much. All right, you can follow Kyle on Twitter.com slash Kyle underscore Pecco 65. It's Game Points here on TSN 690. We are here until 1 o'clock. We have Carl Wolf coming up just after 1230, uh, the uh, hip-hop artist, uh, big Raptors fan. He wants to talk some Raptors heat. Game 7, looking forward to uh, that matchup you'll hear live on TSN 690. Uh, but before then, a couple more 
things to tend to, including up next on this program. Did you hear what Big Poppy did now? Of course, on this program, a couple weeks ago, we talked about what he did for a, a young child hitting a home run for a sick kid. Well, he was up to some other antics yesterday, and we'll get to those next 